I didn't really process it until after it happened. And all of a sudden this like feeling like washed over me. Like I just killed an animal. Like I've never killed an animal before in my life. Oh, I killed spiders. <laughs> I've killed so many spiders. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Jess and I am a vet student in New Zealand. And on my channel, I post a bunch of videos about what it's like to be a student, a university student, a vet school student, and just things about my life. So in today's video, I basically just wanted to sit down and have a yarn with you guys about all the things that have been going on in my life recently. I know that probably some of you would have noticed that I didn't put out a video last week and that what this video is going to explain it. I just spilt that on my lap. Go and get yourself a cup of tea and chill out and we can just have a chat. Like I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear everything that you think about this video in the comments. There's so many more of you. I think there's 40 something more of you than there was when I put out my last video. So that's just crazy to me because my channel doesn't have many subscribers. So to gain like 40 subscribers in less than two weeks is like almost like a like a fifth of my channel. Thank you so much and hi to everyone who is new. So where do I start? The reason that I didn't put out a video last week is that it's because I was quite unwell. I suffer from a recurrent illness. Um, I don't know if I want to share exactly what it is, but I do suffer from a recurring illness. <sighs> it basically plagues my life at this point. <laughs> it's so annoying. So last Wednesday, I fell quite unwell and I thought that I could deal with it myself. So I started treating myself at home through food and natural medicine and just really just looking after myself and resting. And it turns out that that couldn't work. So the next day I ended up even more unwell. And so I made an appointment with the doctors and I went in and I got a prescription for some antibiotics. And because I have a recurrent illness, the dangers with recurring infections is that the more you get put on antibiotics, the, the more likely you are to become resistant to antibiotics. And that's exactly what happened to me. So the antibiotics weren't working. And so I ended up having to go to urgent care and get some help and get some new antibiotics and thankfully they are working now and I'm feeling so much better. But the coinciding problem at the time is I had an exam the next Tuesday, so just the Tuesday just been. I basically left my study to like the very last minute and then I ended up getting really unwell. <laughs> I basically had to like study while feeling so sick. Being at university and being in a degree like veterinary science, getting really sick is not ideal and it's actually really can be really hard to deal with because you often have so much going on like practicals and, ex and assignments and tests if you are someone who suffers from a recurrent or chronic illness, I know exactly what it feels like. I wanted to give you some tips and tricks that I've learned over the past few years. It's not fun. I know it's not fun. I know it sucks. And I've learned some things that have really, really helped me figure out how to study and figure out how to focus and feel a little bit less stressed when I'm sick. First and foremost, if you are really, really sick, get in touch with the university or your school and tell them that you are really, really sick and obviously don't do the test. So while I was at my worst point, I was basically in bed and I was just feeling miserable. But I knew that I had to study. So my first tip is that when you're feeling like that, if you have all of your notes already written out, is I just sat in my bed and I recorded my notes to myself. So I read out all of my notes and recorded them on my phone, which was a huge advantage because I had to go in to urgent care on Saturday that I had my notes already pre-recorded so I could just listen to my notes um, in my headphones while I was in the waiting room. Even just reading your notes aloud to yourself can be an amazing strategy for when you're not feeling very well. The other thing that I thought was really great is watching YouTube videos on the topic. So my exam was a parasitology exam which basically was about worms and larvae and so there's a lot of content on YouTube about the different parasites. When I was in bed and I 
I felt awful, I just lay in my bed and watched video after video on different worm and different life cycle. You can literally just be in pain and be suffering in bed and watching YouTube videos. These two strategies also work really, really well when you're too stressed to study. So if you, if the idea of sitting down at a desk and doing a lot of work makes you feel really, really stressed, then these two things could be amazing. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about is on Monday um, in one of my labs, I had my first ever experience with a euthanasia. Once you are a qualified veterinarian, you're also qualified to do euthanasia, euthanasia on many different animals. In New Zealand, we use pentobarbitone, which is a chemical that is injected intravenously. I knew going into vet school that I was going to have to do a euthanasia. Well, I was going to have to do many, many euthanasias in my time because that is can be a really huge role of a vet. So we had a lab on Monday, which was with some chickens. These chickens were battery farmed chickens that the university rescued, and they were basically at the end of their life anyway. So if the university hadn't taken them, then they would have been um, either electrocuted or gassed. They are put to sleep humanely by vet students as a training procedure. And I basically said that I wanted to give it a go. It sounds bad. I wanted to give it a go because I know that it's going to be a big part of my job. I know that I'm going to be doing euthanasias on animals. I know that it's gonna be something that I'm gonna have to do throughout my entire life as a vet. So I wanted to give it a go and see what it was like while I was in a safe circumstance. You have to have a trained veterinarian watching you while you do it. I didn't actually think that much about it before I did it. It was fine as I was doing it. It was fine as I was injecting it. It was fine until it was absolutely fine and I felt fine. I didn't feel sad and I didn't feel anything really until the veterinarian, because obviously they listen with a stethoscope and then she said, your chicken's gone. And it's, I know it's a, I know it's a chicken and some of you are going to be like, it's just a chicken, but some of you are going to be like, it's a chicken. I didn't really process it until after it happened. And I, all of a sudden this like feeling like washed over me, like I just killed an animal. Like I've never killed an animal before in my life. Oh, I've killed spiders. I've killed so many spiders. Well, I don't know how to describe it. I've never killed an animal before. As soon as I knew that the chicken was dead, it was quite a weird feeling in my in my head to know that I was the one to do it. Straight afterwards, I said, I don't know how I'm going to do that on a cat or a dog where their, their owner that, that they've had their entire life is in the room and bawling. And I don't know how I'm going to do it without like literally sobbing. <laughs> it's one thing to put down a chicken that you knew was going to die anyway. And it's another thing to put down an animal just because of an owner's request. And most of the time it's for the best because the animal would either die or um, be in a lot of suffering or be in a lot of pain or put a lot of financial burden on its family. Yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to chat to you guys about what it's like being sick, being stressed, going through euthanasia. I just, obviously you can probably tell I haven't been in the best mindset for the past week, but it's awesome to see so many of you guys coming and joining the channel and being subscribed. I'm so excited to get to know you all. I've been having some great conversations with people over on Instagram. So if you do wanna message me and have a chat, if you have any questions or anything that you wanna know, let me know over there or comment on this video. Another thing is I also turned 21. I had my birthday like a few weeks ago and I'm 21 now. So that is another whole life stage. Like I'm officially in my 20s. I think that's all I have to say. Tonight I'm going for a massage. My boyfriend got me a massage voucher for my birthday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.